This agreement is to establish the terms and conditions under which both parties will cooperate to develop, implement and execute a sustainable means of utilizing organic waste in Grenada and converting it into soil food, plant food and enriched compost and soil mixes. This will in turn help with reducing landfill use, lowering greenhouse gas emissions and supporting local farmers and communities. Co-founder and Chief Executive Officer of Grenada Grows, Dr. Jude Lynn Tellisford checkley said if funding is secured, they're looking to go on stream with the project within one year. Within a year, once we receive funding, um, as I said, it's a $3.65 million project, um, U.S. dollars. And so we continue to speak with funders, um, investors. Um, we, we'll be, it'll be great if we have some local um, investors here that want to be part of this very important mission for Grenada. So the sooner we get funding, the faster we can hit the road running. We do have phases, so we don't have to get the entire amount. We could start off with product testing at the propagation center and um, different phases like that. So we have a plan and we're ready to implement. Lyndon Robertson, General Manager of Grenada Solid Waste Management Authority, said the plan is to set up a facility in close proximity to the landfill to facilitate the waste to product process. We would be setting up a, a facility alongside the, the landfill. We have been exploring options for location that is where we would be closer to the feedstock in order to reduce the production costs. That is, um, once we have lower haulage, then the production cost would be lower. Uh, we have identified at least three options with regards to sites. And at the point in time of funding, we would be able to choose the most suitable one. Minister for Climate Resilience, the Environment and Renewable Energy, Kareen James, welcomed the initiative. Government cannot be the only stakeholder in the conversation, coming up with the creative ideas, coming up with the game-changing ideas to transform Grenada. Everybody is involved and it is everybody's business. And so we value tremendously in almost everything because it is physically impossible to do it in every single thing. But in almost everything that we do, we try our utmost to engage our stakeholders so that they have you know, an input, a valuable input, and that they know that we value their input in the entire process, not just when it reaches the phase where we need to sign off that we have engaged with a few NGOs or a few um, locally grown companies and so. The company's circular business model promotes sustainability and economic growth, offering a pathway for small island nations like Grenada to adapt to climate change. Reporting for GBN News, Beverly Tellisford.